Welcome to our Ransom Redix interview series. I'm Christoph from RDX Works. Today here with Nelly from Redix Charts. Welcome, Nelly. Hello. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm really, really well. So to be honest, it's really interesting that you signed up. I'm so happy that you came in because your community and even the Redix team, we love your tools. We look at them. <laughs> we, we check them out every day. It's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. <laughs> really cool. Could you share a little bit about your project? Yes, of course. Um, so maybe just a little bit about myself, because I'm not sure how many people know me or know something about me. So actually, I'm doing uh, IT since 20 years now already. Um, different uh, roles started as product uh, or project manager, product manager, doing some software development, have done uh, several projects worldwide, uh, mainly in the logistics area for companies like uh, IKEA or also shortly for Amazon. And uh, yeah, beginning of the year, I decided to um, create my own company. And now since 1st of September, I'm self-employed, more or less. So 80% of my time goes to Redix Charts. So uh, people that don't know Redix Charts yet, uh, we are already live um, since a year, uh, doing some analytics, uh, visual statistics, etc. Um, of the Redux ecosystem. Started with some social media um, analytics, uh, but also checking how many transactions are going uh, via the network, um, what is about token prices, uh, and all those kind of stuff. And also the the Babylon Mainnet upgrade. Account. Yes, really, really <laughs> that's, awesome. a, that's a newest feature. Um, I think I've never got uh, so many clicks uh, than for that one. So everybody is checking constantly how many epochs and uh, when will Babylon go live. So I really hope that the prediction is uh, kind of correct, such that we are not too far away, because uh, I guess um, people will really hate me for that uh, if it doesn't fit. <laughs> Yeah, no. So once this video goes out, we will know exactly uh, if you were right or not. So Yeah, um, very good. So no pressure you, up front. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could you please share with us um, what brought you to Radix and why are you building on Radix? Um, it was actually a little bit of coincidence. So um, I've not been invested in crypto and was just checking, okay, what is a good token? Yeah, so where to start? And then I found a blog which was written... Um, by Lucas from OC Swap. So he was actually the one who brought me to Redix. Um, and it was really in the beginning just, yeah, buying some XRD and investing. Um, but yeah, I came more and more into the ecosystem. Um, and I really love the people. So I think it's, it's, it's a great kind of culture, more or less, uh, in the Redix uh, ecosystem. And I mean, Besides of that, of course, the technology is, is really great. So I, I strongly believe that uh, Redix has the potential to yeah, really be something for the many. Yeah? So that we have uh, mainstream users, that we have uh, great uh, dApps uh, building on Redix that can really be used by the many. So that's why I stayed. <laughs> really exciting stuff. So could you share a little bit about your roadmap and what's to come for Redix charts? Yeah. I mean, for Babylon, actually, we have kind of rebuilt everything. Uh, it will still look very similar, so uh, no worry about that. Um, the the main issue, so to speak, is that uh, with Babylon, the whole structure is changing. So um, when for Olympia, you had clear transaction types like sending tokens or transfer tokens, stake and unstake. Um, with uh, Babylon, you have much more complex transactions. So uh, we are still like analyzing uh, what what we can get out of that data. Um, so I think there will be um, much more in the future. We will mainly just start with the dashboard and then just bring out features uh, every week. And uh, parallel to that, we are also uh, building our own uh, API. So there is, uh, of course, the official um, Redix Gateway API, and we are building uh, our own together with a team from uh, Redix Scan to just give yeah more possibilities, more flexible uh, endpoints to the community. Wow. That's the first step, and then we will see what is coming after that. <laughs> Sounds like really exciting stuff and a lot of work. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Uh, to wrap this up, could you please share with the community where they can find you? 
Yeah, I mean, of course, we have the redixcharts.com website uh, where you can find uh, all the data and visualizations. And then uh, I'm personally mainly active on uh, Telegram. So there's a Redix Charts group on Telegram. We are also on uh, Twitter, so you can also try it there. But most active we are on Telegram, I would say. Awesome. So we will make sure to put all the information into our description. Perfect. Um, Thank you. So thanks for coming in. I'm Christoph from RDX Works, today with Nelly from Redix Charts. See you next time. See you. Bye-bye.